We have to talk about equality because it's really the elephant in the room, if you will. You grow up with stereotypes, you grow up with prejudice, and you have to experience life. You know, I would tell anybody a racist in rural Missouri, he probably hates black people because he don't have any real relationships with any. You know, or a person that's like super pro-black militant, they hate white people, but they never even gave them an opportunity to build anything that's considerable. And I used to have these uh, stereotypes about folks just because of my past experiences. Like, oh, I remember being uh, discriminated against, so I'm going to give a blanket judgment to everybody of this race because of those few bad experiences. But as I learned, all my stereotypes were bust wide open as I grew up. Uh, no, the, the black guy that's just as black as me is not going to be my brother just because we come from the same background. No, the white guy that never went through anything that I've been through won't just be against me because sometimes they can have a, a, a heart of understanding. You know, empathy is something that you have to have from experiencing it. But just to have compassion, that's what I think we need to move towards. More people, black and white, need to buy into we the people. You know, we the people is something that I feel like this country, if you hold America to what was written, that's the way to move yourself forward in America. No one really knows what's the proper term to call anyone. So I keep going back to if we just realize that we're people, then you don't have to have a title. Because I don't tell you that I'm a black leader because you see that when I walk through the door. So I think the obvious shouldn't be mentioned. But the character that's exuded should be what we elaborate and build upon. And I don't think anybody's listening to the way Dr. King eloquently said that. You know, I think that we're trying to reinvent the wheel. Everybody's using divisiveness because if you divide and conquer, then there's some people that we don't even deal with that gets all the riches from our confusion. We have to talk about everybody. We have to talk about government having a certain responsibility to provide for the common defense and promote that general welfare. You know what I mean? We got to talk about what it means to be an American. And the most important task that is at hand is being a productive citizen. That's bigger than a president. That's bigger than any head of state. If you're a good citizen in this country, then we can move somewhere. Because I, you, or them, or they can't do it, but we can.